everybody. Welcome back to Loading Marriage. Merry Christmas. Yay. Yeah, so we uh, we changed up our schedule a little bit. We're releasing this one uh, Christmas Day. Uh, hopefully, maybe it gives you all a break from your families because... Because that can get crazy. Yeah, we, we all understand. I hope you, I really do hope you all have a, had a, are having a very Merry Christmas. Yes, yes. Uh, Right now, I got... hope you're having a Christmas that's so awesome that you're not watching this on Christmas. Yeah, you know there's going to be people watching us that night, and those those are the true fans. Yeah. So, well, those are the ones I appreciate. I don't know if we have any of those. Yeah, I don't think we do either. No. So, maybe happy Boxing Day. That's the day after Christmas in is Canada. It? Yes, it is. Yeah. What is Boxing Day? It's just the day you return all your stuff. Okay, so we're all playing. Wait, is that seriously why it's called Boxing Day? Hold on a minute. Let's come back to Boxing Day. Right now, oh. I'm going to intro the game that we're playing okay okay all right battlefront 2 okay. star wars y'all saw from the picture and the thumbnail and all that stuff i just got into an atat -AT walker so it's gonna be awesome yeah uh so here we go but yes boxing day it's just the day after uh it's just it's just the day at oh this drifts a lot it's it's the day after christmas that you know, basically, you just return your. But that's why they call it Boxing Day. As far as I know, there there might be more reason to it. I don't really know. I I, I can't get this guy. Cause I I just I don't know. I hear box. I thought me. I don't know. I I guess I, I thought it had something to do with boxing, the sport. No, no, no. It's just the day after Christmas. Huh. That's that's all that it is. All right. So I okay. That's... I, I, I'm going to say you learned something just now, but you might not have because I could be completely wrong. Yeah. I know it's the day after Christmas. I don't know why it would be special. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, I learned something, but no, I, yeah, I'm the, not sure it, I it, did. It, it could, I could just be spewing nonsense at this point. You could be spewing nonsense. You do that sometimes. Yeah, I do. So... But hey, at least this time you're telling me something and I'm not just automatically believing it. That That's true. That is true. Look at my critical thinking skills. Good, good on you. I'm proud of you. Yay. So, yeah, anyways, back to uh, back to what we were saying. You know, again, Merry Christmas and all that. Um, oh, there's a TIE fighter. Ooh, shoot shooting down. Hey, this thing shoots so slow. Uh... So, yeah, just, uh, do you have any, uh, let's talk about some of our fond Christmas memories or just, uh, you know, holiday-esque memories. Holiday-esque. I mean, do you, got, do you got any good stories from when you were growing up and was there anything cool that, that you guys ever did or funny stories? Yeah. You know? Do you, you got, you got anything? I don't know. We used to just always go to my grandma's house and... It's not really Christmas related, but she had this like basket of like dog toys. Were you forced to play with dog toys as a child? Um, well, we weren't forced to, but we played with them because they were there. <laughs> but for some I... for some reason, I just remember that in wow, this is hard to aim. in the thing of the container of dog toys there was always like a crap ton of bouncy balls which seems like a really dangerous thing to oh, have that's incredibly hanging dangerous around for, for the dog. dog but i just remember like hanging out in this one room and like just throwing a whole bunch of bouncy balls at the same time i don't know if we were really supposed to do I, that i remember when we were kids playing with a bouncy ball and <laughs> oh yeah that's, that's fine uh, I, I remember when we were a kid and and we had we had a bouncy ball and we came up with this idea to turn all the lights out in the room and then just whip the ball around the room. <laughs> 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 we got hurt. I mean, no. it, yeah. You don't say. Right? I, who would who would have guessed that? Uh, I certainly wouldn't have. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey. I, I think I need to kill this thing. Probably. It seems like a fair assumption. Can I... I don't even know if I can kill it. I don't think I can kill that. Come on. Oh, I shoot so slowly. Um, yeah, so anyways, back to what you were saying about, uh, you know, just talking about, uh, you know, holiday memories and whatnot. 
I, I don't like. Uh, I don't think I have anything like he said, like specific to holidays. Um, you know, but I remember as a kid going to my grandparents' house, and it would be like, you know, just one of those you you go out into the wilderness and just do stupid things. Um, I remember there being a whole bunch of ice that we would play on in the field for some reason. I don't think that was always a good idea, but we did. Well, ice is fun when you're a kid. Yeah, I mean, because you're not, well, you're not afraid of getting hurt. Like, I don't think you can get well, hurt Well, and a you kid. just don't, things don't hurt as much when you're a kid. Now that we're adults, if we, if we fell on ice, it would mess us up for a couple days. Oh, yeah. But when you're a kid, it's like, oh, that didn't feel good. Let's get up and do it again. Right. Like, you're indestructible. It's... It's not really fair. Is that the one you're in? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's, we're, we're, we're done with it now. We don't need it. Was it was it Christmas or was it Thanksgiving that year that we were at your grandma's house and we did some skeet shooting? Um, I think Christmas. That was fun. That's right. It was Christmas. Yeah, that's right. Because my aunt was there. My one aunt was there. And she had never shot a shotgun before. So I was like, okay, well, you know, here you go. And I, I, I this is a 20 gauge, you know, kind of a, a smaller shotgun, not like a, you know, 12 gauge or anything like that. And yeah, she shot it once, almost fell over backwards, almost dropped the gun and then <laughs> essentially ran away saying, nope, 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 not doing this. Nope. <laughs> Was that the year that there was the possum in the barn? Uh, no. That was, an, that was another time. Oh. Skeet shooting was fun, though. Yeah, you were actually surprisingly I good, at good at it. I know. It. Yeah, that was really Defend fun. Defend the Corvus. Is, are these guys on my side? I guess. I'm assuming so, since they're not shooting at you. Yeah. Okay. Suppress those troopers. Suppress those troopers. All right. Well, one of my favorite Christmas traditions is making Christmas cookies. Which you didn't do too much of this year. No, I haven't really had time. Yeah, I guess the whole having a having a kid thing. Yeah, it's you kind get... of put a kibosh. But I'm thinking when we get to your mom's house, I might make some cookies. So by the time people are watching this, I may have made some cookies. Yeah. I did make cookies for the neighbors. They turned out okay. Oh, that's, that's not good. What? Oh, Sorry, I've gotten a little, uh, things got a little intense here and focusing a bit, so. I see, I see that. But yeah, every Christmas I would make cookies with my niece. That was always my favorite. But I guess once we got married, well, then it was did just... you just see that guy, like, um, just... Yes, I did. Okay. He just, like, teleported up there. Yeah. But yeah, once we got married, then, you know, with it being every other year with my family, so it was only every other year that I do cookies with her. Show me threats. It's just nice that as she's getting older, she still, you know, wants to make cookies with me. Yeah, I guess so. I never really made cookies growing up. No? I mean, my, my mom did, but I, I don't really recall helping too much because whenever we'd help, we'd just eat the, uh, she made these uh, peanut butter balls, right? That oh, so peanut good. butter and like, it had like peanut butter and a bunch of sugar and some Rice Krispies and they coat them in I chocolate. I like the Rice Krispie edition. Yeah, well, you know what? That's just how my mom makes them. I so. know. I've eaten them. Uh, ooh, ooh, that, 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 that doesn't look good. Oh, uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, and, and my mom, you know, we'd help, but we'd always end up eating more than what we were making, so. Well then. Admiral Vasquez. Aiden Haskell, 
Reporting. Mission accomplished, sir. Congratulations, Commander. So, we're not completely alone. Some of the crew stayed with us, protected the refugees against those who wouldn't. How are they? Shaken, confused, but safe. I want a little robot dude that hangs out on my back. We have to warn them. Who? The rebels? They're just gonna toss us in Sunspot Prison before we can even say a word. Sunspot Prison sounds like a spa. Leave me a TIE fighter, I'll set off a distress. <laughs> Wait for the rebels to find me. You really think I'm gonna let you just float out here alone? Phil. We're Infernal Squad. You and me. This is Ivan Versio of the Imperial Raider Corvin. Sending a general distress call to the Rebel Alliance. We surrender. Contact the general now. So you thought it was a trap? What brought them on board anyway? You're always telling me to take risks. Seemed like the most irresponsible thing I could do. Oh <laughs> boy. Hello. I'm General Lando Calrissian. Yes, you are. Yeah, you are. See the Imperial defectors I've heard. And I'm here for Colt 45. <laughs> People, everything we know. Let's take a walk. Remember when Billy D. Williams was in the Colt 45 commercials with malt liquor? No, I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. It was awesome. What is this? So All I've right, told. well, we're, we're, we'll continue this on the next episode talking to Billy D. I don't know if he ever did anything after Star Wars. I, I, I feel like he was more popular leading up to it. I'm not sure what he did. Well, I mean, up. at least if this was the last thing he did, it was pretty good way to go out oh yeah yeah, yeah. it's one heck of a swan song yeah uh, why do they call it a swan song uh supposedly when swans die they sing a lot more it's supposed to be the most beautiful song they ever sang that's that's the, the myth anyway i don't think it's actually true i don't feel like a dying swan would sound beautiful i feel like it would just be that's what I imagine a dying swan would sound like. You know, I, I really appreciate your <laughs> rendition of a dying swan, as I'm sure that everybody out there appreciates that. <laughs> but the thing is, you just did that in our house with a sleeping infant directly above us. Dude, she slept through an air horn. Thank yeah, you, that's true. student ministry pastor. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So, all right. So, yeah, we're going to end that episode again. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas and. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 indeed. Indeed. All right. Eat all the things. Yep, and we'll, we'll see you all in the next one. Happy New Year! You know, there's going to be more episodes. I in know, between. but it just seems like the thing you say after Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.